Hello, I've often spoken with you about synchronicity, quinky dinky, power suggestions, you know, all these things. The gifts that keep on giving, if you will. You want to know more about this? Check out my post titled, Be Careful What You Say, It Might Kill You. It was a post I did a few years ago where I told you about how Glenn Miller, Mark Twain, and others foretold of their deaths. Pretty weird stuff. But today, the gift that keeps on giving gives again. And what we're talking about today, boys and girls, is the recent death of Meatloaf. That's right, that rock and roll singer. A little fact, not many people know, but those of us here in Texas do know, that he grew up in East Texas and had studied to be a Baptist preacher. So he had the calling, like the rest of us. He was on a spiritual journey. That is, until he found rock and roll and started using the Lord's name in vain and freed himself and went on to these great heights. Yeah, meatloaf. Man, I got to tell you, I saw him back in the 80s here in Dallas play a little concert. Actually, this is the scene from that. What's it gonna be, boy? Come on. I can wait all night. What's it gonna be, boy? Yes or no? What's it gonna be, boy? Yes. Oh, no. Well, it was the same show that was a few years before he did it. But I remember, man, leaving there just like, wow, on fire, full of energy, full of the Holy Spirit. Man, I was rocking and rolling. The guy could really hammer it home on stage. Anyway, he has passed, and I have chanted for him, for his soul, chanted for him to find happiness, peace, love in his afterlife, and for his return, that he may find peace in his return and happiness. My Buddhist chants. You should try it out. Anyway, the koinky dinky thing that we're going to talk about here today is how last Friday, when he died, Weber Grill had posted, not knowing he died that day, had no reason to know it, they posted on their grills to show you how to cook barbecue meatloaf. No shit. It happened that day. And when I say no shit, I mean no sheet. You know, like a shit that you write a memorandum, no shit. That's my buzzword for today's post. You could read it at esotericdaily.com. You can get the full story of what we're talking about here today there, folks. But here we are talking about the video-ness of it all, which is a little bit different than when I write. So anyway, Weber retracted that. They, they you know, they then they apologized. But I think it's really funny that that happened. I mean, Meatloaf would have loved that. Check out this. You don't think the guy would have loved this? That they posted a how to cook meatloaf, barbecue meatloaf on the day he died? He's in heaven laughing or hell or wherever, you, the afterlife. He's in purgatory probably, I don't know, wherever you go. But he's there laughing. What is really funny though about this is how on the day he died, Weber put that out there. That is so much like the Johnny Darko. If you remember that movie. That dark, crazy, funny, good movie. Serious. You can watch it over and over and over again. You get a little bit more each time. It's built on layers. But the funny thing about Johnny Darko is that it, the day it was released, the same day that planes crashed into the World Trade Center in New York, and so many people died. What was funny is that Johnny Darko was released that day, and in the film, 
early in the movie, there is an aircraft engine that just comes crashing through the ceiling out of nowhere, no explanation. So anyway, they had to cut that, stop it, and re-release it at a later date because it was just so crazy dark. Well, anyway, Weber Grill coming out with a menu item or a menu on how to make barbecue meatloaf on the day meatloaf died is something to consider. What the gonna be, boy? Come on. I can wait all night. What's it gonna be, boy? Yes or no? What's it gonna be, boy? Yes. Oh, no. So sick, I got through 